Okay, so welcome to the last part of our lesson number eight. So we're just going to continue with the lesson and the last function. Let us check our PowerPoint again. So for the last function, a function that will join several text strings into one text string. So concatenate. So con ka te na te. Okay concatenate okay so wrong spelling wrong remember that so please try to remember uh, the spelling of this uh, uh, function let me end this and just give an example in our excel file okay so let's start here very simple I'm just going to uh, uh, connect, okay, or concatenate these two cells A2 and B2. So coming here, cosine concatenate, open parenthesis, text one is seed, text comma, text two is Taylor or B2. Close parentheses. Now they are together. Okay, but of course it's not showing us a very nice concatenation. What we're going to do is we're going to introduce a space. Apostrophe. Space. Ah, sorry. Double quotation. Space. Double quotation. Comma. So you have three texts. A two space B2. Okay, you can apply that to all other names. You can see Richard Reeves, Heidi Cross, Jeff Cho, and so on. Okay, so this is an example of concatenation. Okay, so you can connect not only two words, but many other words. Like if I change this, Let's say I want another. I'm going to put a dash, so I'm going to put it in double quotation, comma, and then I'm going to select their position, which is now C2. Close parentheses and C. Okay, C Taylor president. You can put also another space after Taylor and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is how it will look like. Okay. Let me go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. What I didn't mention earlier, and I want this as a, like the final or the finale, is the use of the ampersand. Okay. Ampersand character or and character. Some of you will... Uh, we'll say and character, but this is actually ampersand character. Okay, ampersand. Okay, what's the use of this? It's actually just the simpler uh, uh, way to concatenate words. Let me show that to you. Now, example. Go back to Excel. Here. Equals. Okay, I'm going to use A2 directly and then use ampersand and then B2 and press enter. It's the same, right? Concatenate and then use of ampersand is the same. So, but let me just again put a space so it will look, look, look good. Okay, so that's how it, we should write. A2, ampersand space, ampersand B2. We're connecting different cells or content of cells, okay, into one cell, okay, or set of strings. Okay, so let me end this presentation. That's the end of our lesson number eight in manipula manipulating text. So watch out for our... Uh, 
live session. I will discuss some more there. Uh, if you have some question, you can ask. So again, we're actually approaching the finish line for this course. Uh, I just have uh, one, two, yeah, two more uh, lessons. And then uh, that's the end of our advanced Excel course. So uh, please study hard, always prepare. I mean, like always be advanced. Uh, my strategy is to front load you with the lessons and the exercises so that you can do it uh, in your own pace. So that's it for now. Uh, just wait for my next lesson videos or video lessons. And I hope you can take uh, you, you take care of yourselves. Uh, so that's it for now. Bye. Ciao.